this is one of those perfect examples where it's kind of it's kind of a little bit death by notation, right? Because like there's not much there, but I don't I've got nothing to grab onto. Like where do I even start? Okay. But but if you remember back to what notation means, it's not that hard to climb back in and access the question. Okay. So to begin with, classic classic math teacher, mathematician strategy, right? I just think about what does a simpler version of this mean? Okay. So for example. Suppose I said this. Okay, so that's much simpler. Okay, I can work with that. Um, what that means is, well, what this means is the modulus of z. That's the distance to z is equal to one. Okay. Now, hopefully you can think. Okay, well, hold on. If I have a if I have a complex plane. Okay, um, and I want to know <coughs> which complex number is exactly one unit away from the origin. Right. So, hold on a second. There's a, I'm, I rubbed off my complex number four. There's a whole bunch of numbers that are one unit from the origin, right? For example, one is one unit from the origin. Negative one is one unit from the origin. I and negative I, they're all one unit from the origin. Okay? In fact, this equation traces out the locus of points that represents all equidistant from the origin. Specifically, they're one unit away. Okay? So every complex number that I draw on here is one unit from the origin. Are you okay with that? So this, this is my answer to this. You can contend with that. Okay? So, so done, right? But I don't have this, do I? I have this. Okay? So to understand what's going on, you think, well, hmm, what's different between this and this? And how does it mean I have to interpret this geometrically different, okay? Now, there's two ways that I can go about this. One is um, easy to see, but doesn't yield much insight. The other way is harder to see, but as you will discover, is rather more useful, okay? So, I'm gonna get rid of this solution now that you have it in your brain, okay? So you have the general idea. It's gonna have something to do, it's got, obviously got a lot in common, but now I'm gonna forget about it. It's not the actual question, okay? Now, Again, I'm trying to tackle what's a simpler problem than that. Okay, I've already tried one. Let's try another avenue, right? So if I think about what's the difference between this number and this number? Remembering that complex numbers can be thought of as points, <coughs> this and this are two different points in the plane. Do you agree with that? So for instance, if I come over here and I say, well, right, there's z. There's some arbitrary z. Where is z minus 1 in this diagram? Now, I think we looked at this briefly this morning, okay? Minus 1, that's a real number. Okay, which direction is it? It's to the left. So there's z minus 1, okay? So the modulus of z is this line here, right, this length. And the modulus of z minus 1 is this length. Okay? And I want it to be 1. Okay? Now, this is one way of thinking about it. But it tends to be not actually that useful. Like, where can I go from here now? Right? Like, I still have my circle idea, but I'm, I'm kind of stuck still. Like, where's my next step? Okay? Well, here's my next step. I can think of moving my complex number, 1 to the left, Right? And measuring from the origin, okay, that's fine. But um, to borrow to borrow Einstein's kind of way of thinking, right? Why do I have to move this point, right? I don't have to just move that point. I have another option. Instead of moving the thing that I'm observing, instead I can move my point of reference. Okay. So do you see measuring z from the origin versus measuring measuring z minus one from the origin is the same comparison? as measuring z not from the origin. Do you see that this is another equally valid way to find the absolute value of z minus 1? Aha, you see what's going on now, right? So both of these, both of these are true, okay? But this is far more powerful, right? Because now what this means is, aha, here's my center now. Okay? I've adjusted my frame of reference, right? Because I knew what it meant when this was equal to 1. It was a circle. It was around the origin. 
This is also a circle, but it's not around the origin anymore. It's been shifted one unit to the right. Right. Okay. Now let's think about this. Right. Let me let me draw it. So something like. Let's see. Did I get it right? Does this work? Okay. Um, let's pick out a point and see if this makes sense. Okay. So I find a point like this. Okay. So let's call this one Z two. Hmm. I know that this distance here is 1, right? Because that's how I define this red circle. Are you okay with that? So therefore, if that distance is 1, then by definition, where is Z2 minus 1? Isn't it here? Move to the left, 1 unit, right? So it's going to be like... Uh, uh, Okay, so it's still going to be, it's z2 minus 1, what's its difference from the origin? It's going to be there, okay? Now, my problem, of course, is that my, my scale is completely off. If I, in fact, know that I've moved one unit to the right, and this is the radius, right? In fact, a better diagram, a two-scale diagram, would look like you never cross this. Yeah, you never cross the axis. Okay? So I was a bit misleading because I was doing this all in general terms. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. It was because it was because I just drew a circle, right? But now you can see. Now think about anywhere on here. Think about here. Now I know what the radius of this circle is, right? So for example, that point there, I actually know exactly what its coordinates are, right? It's it's two, right? So for that point, let's test out the um, the um, modulus of that. Right? I'd go modulus of 2 minus 1, which is the modulus of 1, which is 1. Right? right? How about, what about this point? I know this point's on the, um, on the circle as well. That's 0, so I'll test that out. The modulus of 0 minus 1 is the modulus of minus 1, which is 1. Right? Okay, hold on. Let's push it a little further. I know what that point is. What's that? 1, 1. It's 1 plus i. Yes? Okay, so what's the modulus of 1 plus i take away 1? That's z minus 1, isn't it? Well, 1 take away 1 will cancel, so I just get the modulus of i, which you bet is 1. Right? So do you see, this is the locus of points that is equidistant. They're all 1. But they're not around the origin anymore. I've been horizontally shifted. I've been translated, actually, is a better way of saying it. Okay. 